Hi, Sagittarius here um, with a weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Those who connect in with Sagittarius in a, in a special way or those with Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising or Venus signs could connect in with these Sagittarius and move into this general energy, the general consciousness that we um, find for the, the sign of Sagittarius for the week of the 23rd through the 29th. Week of 23rd through the 29th for Sagittarius. World energy. World energy coming in here first and foremost for Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Jeez. Sagittarius. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, Sag. King of Wands. Wow. Justice. Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, okay, have to clear some energy, hold on just a second, <coughs> okay, Sag, Uh, as you're moving into this week, we have you in the Nine of Pentacles position. The Nine of Pentacles rides up over the King of Wands, over the Justice card, into the Ten of Wands. So there's something here that you're working on um, that's very important to you, Sag. I think you're able to do this work because of your independence, because of the financial position that you're in, um, or some sort of... Uh, I want to say windfall, but this is a weekly reading. So, I mean, I have to scale it down just a little bit here because it's a weekly reading, but there's some sort of improvement in life that's here for you now. And you're really able to have that independence and have that adventure uh, that you have been really longing for, I think, Sagittarius, for a while. Now, I'm not sure what this is, but it is going to put you into this masculine energy. There could be a masculine king of wands here. Um, Sag, we have the King of Wands showing up in a very masculine position. So there could be someone around you, um, could be somebody connected in with you that's in a very, um, that's in a lot of movement and doing things that are very difficult and overcoming a lot of significant progress in, in time. Uh, I think others of you, for others of you, this will be your energy, Sagittarius. And um, I am connecting into something here. Hold on a second. Uh, there's something here that's been kind of tickling at you for a while, tickling at you, some sort of project um, or some sort of new thing that's like been around you for a while. Um, it, it could have just felt too hard. It could have felt too hard to do. And it might have been just a little bit irritating to have to do this. Something that just kind of pokes at your sense of fairness and rightness in the world around you. Something that just gets into the principle of who you are or your ethics and standards. And really just um, there, there's something here that has really just, I think, Sagittarius offended you in some way, offended your sense of what is right and what is doable. Something here, it just, it's, I think you're noticing something, Sag. Um, I'm realizing my voice is getting escalated here. I'm connected into this King of Wands. So I'm going to lower the, I'm going to turn the dial down just a little bit here. But there's, there's something, Sag, that um, you're realizing that is just too much. It's just, you're, you're noticing now, this is just too much. It's maybe too long of a period of time, or maybe uh, this is a task that requires more than one person, or or there's just something here that you're realizing that, it, that there's something here that needs to be de-escalated, something that needs to be brought to a um, made easier, or something something has to be fixed with this kind of a problem because it really is too hard for one person, or it's too much, or it's too long of a period of time. And because you're in this space now of really having your own self-reliance and there's an aspect of you that's very independent. I think many times with the Nine of Pentacles that comes from financial gain or from sort of some sort of 
strengthening of a foundation of finances, whether it's more income coming in for you now or uh, a drop of income coming in. There, there is just something here, Sag, that has put you in a place of strength. And I feel like financial independence, that, that you're able to do something now, Sag, that you haven't been able to do before. Because I feel like the situation that's around you is getting is getting to the point um, where we like to say, like in our home, that's now that's the last straw. That is just the last straw. There's no more of this. I am not going to tolerate this anymore. You know, and because of that last straw, because of this, where it's just gotten to this point, I, I do feel like you're starting to do something different or something new, Sagittarius, that you haven't done before. And I, I think it's because in many ways you've been stirred to do this. You've been pushed to do this. Uh, you have in many ways the universe might be requiring you to do this. But the good news is, is that you do have the strength to do it. And you do have the ability to make these decisions and really kind of step forward in a way that's very much your own. You don't have to rely on anyone else to kind of approve of what you're doing. This is something you can do on your own. That's the beauty of the Knight of Pentacles. You have this independence and freedom to really make your own decision here. And there's something that you do do, that you do do, my friends, <laughs> um, that's different from before. And it might not have been something that you've been wanting to do or you could have been hesitating, um, but there is something new now, Sag, that you are doing. Um, why I say that is because you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this Ten of Wands is going to come first. And for many of you, Sag, I, I do feel like the Ten of Wands comes first here. Um, there's some some sort of realization, and and it, it could even be that you're a, a new person now with new strength, Sagittarius. Like you have a new vibrancy about you you could have really healed from something in the past or you could be at a place right now sag where there really isn't any choice um you're moving forward because that's what your requirement requires you to do but you're also moving forward with gusto because there's something here that can change your future there, there is th this is happening for so many sages right now and this Ten of Wands is like the, the final straw that will help push you into doing it differently. And it comes maybe with a little bit of painfulness. Um, but that said, I think you're at a position now, Sag, when, when you're actually able to do this. Um, as the week moves through, you move into the justice energy. So already, already, Sag, that's what I mean. Like, I don't think this is something super hard like it is hard it is hard sag but you've been through way worse and i just feel like for many of you this is just something that comes in um that you have the ability in your in your individual life to make a choice about how you're going to respond to something that thing that you're responding to is something that feels very overwhelming and maybe you've already maybe you've already been trying to do it a certain way it's definitely with how you do something that the obligations you have, the actions you take, the way you spend the energy that you have within you for the day. How do you spend it? There's something here that is pushing you to change that in some way and make it easier on yourself to move through. There, there could just be too much complication. Sagittarius, you might be at a point now where you could even simplify what you're doing or you could move from three ways of earning income into one way of earning income. There could be so many things you change here, but it will bring simplicity and ease. And I, and I do feel like an enhancement to your experience. It will, it will help to, to bring an improvement in for you as, and as I, as you move through the middle of the week, uh, Sagittarius, I think that you're realizing that this was a good decision, that this is a good way. And I think you feel pretty good about what's happening. And, that that justice energy is sitting over the top of the ten of wands and over the top of the ten of swords so uh even in all the confusion and even in all the difficulty that you have here sag i feel like you very balanced and you're recognizing that something is really uh becoming better sag there's there's just really this is something that's really becoming better and i feel like even with the complexity and even with how hard it is you're able to stay so calm and cool, Sag. It's just so beautiful, the, the stability that you have within you to stay so calm and cool and to recognize that things are getting better around you, that there is a certain kind of balance that you're experiencing. Uh, and this is moving you into this empress position. And as you move into the end of the week, I mean, 
you're really feeling uh, so strong, Sag, and you're making such good choices. You have this overall feeling of connection to so many things in the world around you, very much connected. And I do believe, Sag, that you are in a path now of really moving through um, and understanding what this situation has brought for you because you're moving out of the five of pentacles into the six of pentacles. I can very much feel that because you have the nine of pentacles here. And I feel like, as you're realizing now that with this mindset that you have and this way of being and this uh, ability that you have now to step into the hardest parts of life, to the heaviest parts of life and learn how to really manage those situations, uh, you're feeling much better, much better about those problems around you, Sag, that have been looming around you. Um, there is, it doesn't mean, I feel, Sag, this is just a weekly reading. It doesn't mean that you're stepping into a brand new life or anything like that. I think what it means, uh, in all reality, what it means is that in, in all the hardship of the week, which we do see that it can be confusing and it can feel overwhelming, you're staying balanced because you're realizing that this is a situation that is on the men that is getting better that is becoming easier for you and i feel like you're moving into this space of um with the empress uh, of really understanding all the good work that you've done um, all the hardships that you have and how those have filled your mind and filled your being with seeds of knowledge uh, and seeds of um of it's grow it's like seeds within you so that these will come sprouting. I'm just feeling like all of this within her is seeds, seeds that are connecting to our wisdom, that are connecting to our ideas, that are connecting into the future visions that she has. It's like there are seeds of ideas, seeds of creativity, seeds of goodness, seeds of abundance that are within now. And I just feel like there is uh, so much capacity that you have, Sagittarius, as you move forward into this new way of living. I think for so many of you, it's a mindset or it's a way of living that you're beginning to embody now and really becoming quite effective at it. And I think that you are feeling much better about those problems that are around you right now because there, there are. We have the five of pentacles here, which is is overcoming some sort of a lack perspective or a lack situation. It is a reality for so many people who have struggled um, through this this time of um, being like out of control, the situation wasn't controllable. Um, that's what the Five of Pentacles is. It's like, oh my gosh, the universe somehow how has its hand in this devastation. That's how when you're in the Five of Pentacles, how difficult it can feel to be going through a situation where you ultimately don't have the control in, in more ways than one, or whether you made a mistake or you didn't make a mistake or someone else made a mistake or this happened. It doesn't matter when you're on the edge, when you're on the outside, when you're on the brink of devastation, um, this is something that that truly will create cracks within the earth part of us. And that is what allows the seeds to come blooming. And this is just coming out. I'm just, um, this is the first time for me too. I don't know this analogy. This has not come forward before. So this is something new for me, but I'm seeing that all of those thoughts and all of those experiences and that overcoming within you is created seeds of newness that it, points in time in your life will sprout out little actions or little things that you say to one another or ideas of businesses or new products that you could um, promote or whatever it is. It, it's creating these seeds within you that will sprout out at certain times of life that will help you to overcome um, what you have already come. There's seeds there that will help you almost like ideas ready um, helpful tools ready to spring forward if you need them. And that's what I feel is contained within this Empress energy. And because of this knowledge of oneself and the ability now to balance um, yourself with a new found independence and strength that you've acquired, it has put you into the place of the Empress and you feeling strong and understanding new and important ways of overcoming some of these issues and problems and challenges that have been around. It's a new strengthening, a new feeling of anticipation of optimism, anticipation of goodness, anticipation of success. And it's because you have now seen it being put to the test. Something small you're doing is helping you to see how it can be emulated and how it can be sent forward into the future, uh, encompassing um, 
many more areas of life than what you have going on right here. I just feel like there's something that's happening this week that's opening up or helping you to confirm a capacity you have to stay strong and balanced. Even in chaos, Sagittarius, it is something so perfectly beautiful that you can do. And I think this confidence and realization about how exactly you do this your own specific way is helping you to see how you can change other parts of life as well. So I think Sagittarius, this is a really strong week for you. And I think there's validation here of the difficulty that you've had. Um, and I think that you are recognizing now that there is a new way of, of life for you and a new way of handling these things. And it's quite empowering and it feels really good for you. Sagittarius It's going to be um, a very nice balancing overcoming year that is going to bring in some real improvement, Sag. And um, I'm starting to see that um, starting to build here in early on in the year. So, all right, Sagittarius, uh, I am going to move over to the extended reading now. We are going to carry this energy forward thread like this as well. And then when that's done, we're going to be looking at love, laying down a spread for love to see how those people in love are connecting in. It's still a general reading, but it is a love reading. Um, and then also we are going to be looking at money and um, pulling some cards about money for Sagittarius, for this group of Sagittarius people. All right, my friends, that is it for the weekly reading. I hope it, it's, it was helpful. I hope it um, is going to help you as you move through the week. Wishing everyone well. And for those of you going back to you, YouTube, thank you for being here. It's an honor, honor to read for you. And for those moving into the extended, um, I will see you over on the other side. All right. Thank you very much.